I'm probably best known for building massive castles in Valheim. And today I wanted to give some tips and tricks that I use to enhance the look of the outside of my castle to give it a little bit more detail and a little bit more uh, texture and it just makes them stand out way more than other castles. To do that I made this very small castle and I'm going to turn it into this one. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I made a small castle. Uh, it has a tower, a main hall where you can probably have everything you need and a little fireplace. So I'm going to upgrade this and give you guys some tips you can use to uh, make it look a little bit more interesting. So we're gonna start off with this tower. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give them a couple of pillars. Now, what I personally like to do is I don't put them pillars on the edge, I put the pillars one block off because then it gives this nice uh, like layered effect. If you have like, like this, it really like shows the corner in a really cool way. Another thing I do is I click the shift button which unlocks snapping and I push in the block as far as I can until it does that, it's just until it like drops down. That's like the middle uh, of the block and that's how far you can push it in. So I put, pull it back a little bit like this and then I just place all of the stone a, a little bit deeper. So it gives this nice effect as you can see. I do the same here. And then this goes up to now. This is always a little bit hard. You have to really push them in okay uh, let's do that one more time and I'm pushing it in like that and then I do this now another thing I like to do is I like to make a sort of a trim on the bottom so in this case I do the same I push it wait I first place one block that's a little bit better and then I push it in and I use the bottom block as like my foundation like this, but wait, I need to do it like this. I do it like this, like that. And then I place one more, and I can snap it right there. And then we have a really nice little trim here in the bottom. Nah, two is, two is good. So let's do that uh, all over this tower, and then I'll show you what I do with the top. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another stone trim. And this one is going to be a normal one. So this one is not pushed in. This is just going to stick out like this. And what I like to do then is I like to take these arches and then push them in and snap them to the, the ones that are pushed in like that. I'll do this on all sides. And then do it right there. Mm, don't know if I like that, but I'm not too, oh, it's okay. It sticks out a little bit, but that's fine. And let's do it here. Okay, now on top of that, I start building another line of pillars. So I'm gonna place all the pillars and then I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do next with the top. Okay, now the top. We are going to delete two rows of stone. Like that. Now we are going to place 
one row of stone again. Oh, we're also removing this. Raising one row. And then we are placing another row. And on top of that, another one. Okay, and then we take the normal floors and we're gonna snap them in like this. So they're gonna be sticking into the wall a bit, but that's okay. You won't see it from the outside. And we do this because now you can stand on all sides of the tower. You have a little ledge you can easily stand on. Then we place three of those. Three of those, three of those, and three of those. And lastly, like this. And then, there you go. And what we do next is, I'm gonna push in one. So I actually should delete this one. Push in one. This side, I need to fix it later. And then we take the arches again. Replace those. Like this. And then we have this. Compare this tower to the to what it was. It always it's already like a massive difference, like a massive upgrade. Now Last thing I do, I like to do is I like to like put stone here, and then it like sticks out a little bit. Or what you can do t also, which is fun, is have this one. No wait, 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 wait. wait. Sorry, making a mistake here. Is push one in. Yeah. Snap it like that. Yeah, that's better. That is much better. Doesn't stick true. Nah, that's fine. So we're gonna do that on all sides. Okay, so now we have a much better looking tower. Uh, only on this side it looks a little bit different so you could leave it like this if you if you don't mind or you could do exactly the same and just build it through the roof uh, or you could do what I am going to do is you can make uh, like half of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play do exactly the same as I did last time but I'm only gonna do that only gonna do the top part like this But you don't have to do this, or you can do it differently. You can do whatever you like, but this is how I would do it. And that's actually not true. I actually do it the other way too. Building it all the way to the bottom. Because that does look good too. So. Here we go. We have a little bit more detailed tower. The next thing I do is uh, I make windows. But the problem is that uh, there's stairs inside of this, uh, this tower. So you can't really make windows everywhere. So what I like to do is I like to look. So I delete it. And like here's stairs, so that's not really gonna work. So I'm place those back. And now I'm gonna look here. I think this side is probably okay. Yeah, so I could place a window here. Now, what kind of window I, I would place is I would, um, let's see, do 
this, maybe do this. And then stick in a little bit of rock like that. And then use that rock to place the other side. And then place the arches and snap those. And then here you go. Ah, it's sticking out a little bit too much. Just a bit too much. So I want to. I want to get this right. So like this. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. I should do it on the other side too. Uh. Like that. So now there's like a little little window. You can look out if you uh, are walking up the stairs. Oh, and this one is off. So these arches, you need to snap them to the... Yeah, like that. No, don't snap them to the farthest one, but snap them to the nearest one. Um, yeah. Yeah, like that. So, okay. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to add some wood and a wooden trim to this uh, monstrosity. But here's the thing. If you make this stone overhang like this, it is going to protect the wood underneath from the rain. So that's really nice. So what I like to do is um, at least I always uh, make the pillars more uh, decorated with wood like this. So always the pillars. The pillars are like the bare minimum. So do it like that. And I'll place one there. And I'll do this. Like so. Uh, like so. And then I take the small ones. Just so it has a little bit of details. Now I do this. Oh, come on. Yep, there we go. Like that, like that, like that, and like that. And I like to do this. Add a little bit of a uh, flair to it. Now, it's already a big difference. Now, wh what I also do is let's do a wood one right there. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna add that to the rest of the tower and then uh, we are gonna go and detail the next little thing. Okay, so that was all the wood trims on the pillars. Now we're gonna add some details to give it a little bit more of a spice. So first thing, I like to place wood like this because in the past there used to be wood supporting the stone in castles. Oh, I forgot to do the wood trim here. So let's quickly place those. Um, okay, so I like to do this, add a little bit of wood detailing, and what I also like to do, um, I like to add flags, but I don't just place down flags. What I do is I place wood, and then I place the flags on top. So let's take, what's a nice color? What are we going to take? Let's take the orange one place it like that and then on the other side let's place another orange one and then let's place an orange one underneath here so let's do it like this no that's crooked let's try that again 
Okay. And now what I like to do is I like to add one more little pillar right there. And then a little pillar thingy or wood thingy there and underneath. And now it feels like it's hanging on something. So there you go. A lot more detail and just a lot more going on in this tower. Um, and then on top, like you can stand on all the sides. You can look down and you can easily like place a fire here or chest. Maybe add a uh, little brace here, like. So, the next thing uh, I want to do is the roof. Um, and the reason why I want to do the roof is it's going to lead into the last part, which is going to be detailing the outside of this building. So we're going to start with this roof. And the first thing you always need to do to make a roof look better is a roof needs overhang. Um, you probably see this in many, many builders videos, also in mine, roofs need overhang. So what I like to do to add some overhang is I like to take the cross, well, the cross bars, how they, what they're called, the wooden roof crosses, then place them like this, and then snap a roof piece, not completely like this, but to the middle, so it sticks in a little bit. This way it isn't sticking out super far, but it is sticking out a little bit. And then you can just delete it like so, and then do it like this, and then like that and to the front I sort of do the same I take this piece and I place it right there it snaps to this thing and then I just place another one and then I take another one of those snap another one right there and from here on it's very simple you just take this and you just start placing it all now you take the middle thingy like that and then we'll just finish this front that and we can do this and then Snap one there, and snap one right there, delete, and delete, and then we just finish the overhang, like so. Now I'm lucky, I can, no I can't, okay, so then I'll just do the same trick on this side to Okay, now, next we are going to add a trim to it, because everything needs to be trimmed, like so, and we'll do that to the front, also. And then we are going to add a beam here. You can snap those in, like in these, piece, in these roof pieces, you can snap the wooden beams into them. So what I like to do is like I do this and then have one stick out like that. And the reason why sticking out like this is fine because it's a two meter beam, it's half into the roof and half outside. When it rains, it doesn't decay. But if you do this, this piece will decay. So this piece will decay because it's not inside the roof. So if you do this, you won't have to worry about decaying. No. And then we do all the way to the other side. And then what you could do, I would like I like to call this a dragon's back. You can add pieces like this. And I give 
a little bit of a, like a scale dragon's back fitting. And then I like to take the decorated piece. And so here is what I do. And this is a little bit more difficult. So you could you could do this. You could place a two pieces of like those, then grab it. And then place it like this, which I do like. Or you can do it by freehand. I actually like this, so we're gonna keep this. And now or what we could do. Let's see what it looks like if I do it like this. Uh nah. No, I liked it better before. So we're gonna do it like that. And we're gonna do that on the other side. And then we have a dragon's roof. Now, I always add a little bit of a trim on the side. The reason why I do this is it looks like there's like a gutter for the water <laughs> not that it is like really there but you know it looks a little bit more realistic and because the roof is so one colored like it's completely completely black and not much else i'm going to oh no okay it's okay i'm going to add a couple of details to the roof also so here is the fireplace so what i like to do is next to it i like to add a where is it a little window so you could so i remove two of these place these two yeah like that and then all the wood have to be added again And I do the same, make it stick out, like so. And here I take the small pieces, I place those, so I have more snap points. So now I can do this, this, and that. And then you can add glass and glass, add a wood piece, take these pieces again. This is a little bit freehand, but you try to align the tops a little bit like like so and then you snap one on this side and then you oh wait you shouldn't align them actually you should they should be a little bit off so they should be a little like that and you snap one other one and then there you go you now have a cool logo window now the last thing i like to do is I like to add an extra little trim thingy, like so. So I do it like every two. So one, two from that side. Yep. So one, two, one, two. And then this is the middle. So I'll leave that like this. And then add a the, the, the less steep ones, like so, like so. And then do that on the other side. So two, two, one, two, one, two, add. Snap it in. And um, add those. Should I add them here? No. I could do that. This is. Uh, this one's not. You want to snap properly. No, that's fine. Okay. So there you go. Oh, wait. And I also like to do this. Sorry, I had to do that from the beginning. I forgot to do this. 
Oh, come on. I know you can. Snap in there. Maybe from the bottom. Yeah, from the bottom always works. And then... There's always... One. There's always one. Super annoying. Okay. So, there we go. This roof now looks much, much, much better. It has a little window. You could make more windows if you like. Um, it has like a really cool dragon's back. It's got a couple of dragon like details. And then the roof itself has a little more texture to it. Next thing, we are going to do the front and the sides of the building. So I'm going to do the front first, then I'm going to do this side. And I'm going to change the windows and uh, add a bit to the fireplace, to the chimney. But first, we're going to do the front. So this gate uh, is super nice. But what I always hate with it is how it snaps. As you can see, it's it snaps in it snaps to the like I'm gonna show you guys. It snapped to the stone on one side. So if I take it and I try to snap it, it only it snaps there or it snaps there. But I kind of want to have it in the middle. But then you have to do the freehand. But there is a trick. If you take a door and the door has way more, as you can see, the door has way more snapping points. Like here you go, like this. So what you can do is you can snap a door there and then take the big door and snap the big door to the small door. And now it is in the center. As so. Now, last thing is I add arches here to just not make it look so square. And then I'll take the wood. Oh, this arch is sticking out. Uh, like that. Now I'm going to take wood, and now I'm going to make a trim. I'm going to do that. And all these sides too. So I was thinking it might be cool to add a little bit of a sort of a balcony entrance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some stone to about this high and then I'm going to remove all of this that stone back and then I'm going to add a door right there then take this and uh, oh this is too high take place this oh I'm deleting everything I didn't want to delete so I'm going to take the floor piece, do it like that, make it stick out. Do I want it to stick out? Yeah, I'll, I'll f oh yeah, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to place, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to do that, yeah. that then I'm gonna add some arches oh that was a safe arches and then I'm going to place one of these place one of these just to give it a little bit more two turning now this is kind of cool but what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this one and this one and I'm going to take the bench and it doesn't fit well it does if I remove those it's, yeah can I just place a bench? And then now the hard part is getting this back. 
wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So now I need to do that. And I need to do that. Let's do it on this side. And then let's do it like that. Okay. And now uh, let's add down to the front and then add a wood trim these little things and while we're at it let's place another trim here and now I'll do small ones There we go. Now, this door, we're going to add, remove the door for a moment, add some wood, add a smaller piece and a small piece, and then add a cross beam. Now put the door back in and we have a, a lovely door right there. And now I'm thinking, no, this is cool actually. I like this. Yeah, I like this. Okay, next, we are going to add a couple of details. So first off, I like things like this, like adding, like, like make it look like it's like structurally like being supported by the wood. The wood is not only there for detailing, it's also there to make it look like it's like, it has a function. Now, this, I personally really like to do this, but this is a bit of work, a bit of work. So you have to shift, push in a cross beam like this, and you have to do this a little bit on, 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 on your feelings. And then you have to see, and not, as you can see, it's not right. So I have to do it again. Push it in. Yeah, this one's fine. And then I like to do two of these take a smaller one and that one goes like underneath it and then place oh place these things let's give it a little bit of style now what i always do is like the door has a snap point on the front as you can see so i can place Two wooden beams and then add a cross and there we go now something I always do is I always add another layer on the sides and also on this side and what I do as you can see like I'm aligning I'm aligning the wood with the wood on the wall. So I'm trying to be exactly the same. Now it has this really cool like, like shape on the side here. So we're going to do that here too. And you can do this with shift. You can shift push or without shift. 
place this. Like so. And then let's see. What else do we need to add to this front to make it look good? Um, let's add another trim. Hmm. Let's do trim. I know. We're going to do a trim right there. Well, not there. Just, just, just here. Like so. And then we go underneath. And we're going to shift push in a block. And we're going to push it in halfway on both sides. And now, just add a last little thing. Add in this. Yes. Now. Looks much better. Now, what I like to do is I also like to do that here. So go underneath and I make it like so. And, oh, the light is super bright, so this is a little bit rough. Shift push, make sure it doesn't snap, because it will snap if you don't use shift. Like if you don't shift, it snaps, so you have to shift it like so. And then what we could do is we can add some wood. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then lastly, add a fig trim to the sides. Yeah, to the, let's do it to the top. Yeah, we'll just do it like to the top. Let's, should we do it to the top? No. No, 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 no. I think we'll be cool. And then make it s oh stick out. Yeah, I like that. I like this. And then yeah, like that. Now let's add a couple of torches and put them on the stone, and then let's say in the middle between these two. The middle between these two. And then let's add the yellow banner. Let's hang him from. So what you can do, you can push on the top one and it goes underneath. Then find the middle. Yeah, it's that's that's okay. Like there, yes, and then add one of those, yeah, like that. So, this isn't the new front of the castle. I uh, actually really like it, it's a cool feel. This will deteriorate in the rain, which is unfortunate, but it still looks cool, still looks fine. Um Okay, next we are going to do the sides of, the, of this castle. So next we're going to we're going to start off with the window because this window has the same problem as the door, and that is that the glass I'll show you sticks to the front and the back 
of the stone. So if I take the glass, like it's, it snaps here and it snaps here. Personally, what I do is I, I do shift push and I just choose where I want to push it, place it, and I'll just place it. But you could always use a door and I'll snap it to the door. So that's also a trick. But I tend to make small windows. So what I do is I place a block. Is that a, that's a bit too far out. I place a block. And then I snap on both sides. And then I'll just use the shift click to find the middle. And then I'll place three of those. And I snap in the arches. And then I'll take either this one, the Dwergen metal wall, or you can take the cage metal wall, whatever you like. And you shift push. So if you don't do shift, this happens. If you do shift push and you push your mouse all the way down, so the, the little square is all the way down. And trying to find what looks the best, which is about here. And then you snap one to the top. And then it looks like this. And now we are going to add some wood to it. So a little bit of wood there. And we're going to add a wooden trim underneath. We're going to do this differently. We're going to do it differently. So we're going to add a wood trim underneath. Like so. Yep, I like that. And we are going to add a wooden trim. If the sun is not in my face, a wooden trim there. Then we're going to take this piece and we're going to snap it. We're going to snap it. Add a little bit of detailing. Look if it doesn't stick through the roof. Nope. Then place some wood on this side. And then what we could do is we could add it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the last thing for this window is I'm going to add a little bit of extra wood just so it pops up so just so this part pops out a little bit like it pops out a little bit more and i am going to add oh, this sun is in my face some wood here so that there is a nice trim let's see let's do this so like that and then lastly i'll add two of those yeah, yeah, I like that. Look at the difference between this side and this side. And the only thing you have to do is add a little bit of wood. Make sure it pops out a little bit. And it's such a massive difference. So I'm going to add the same things that I've done on that side to this side. Okay, so we're going to do the back part. And the back part's not going to be super special it's going to be a little bit like the front part just not the there's just not going to be a balcony you could make a balcony here but i'm not uh, i'm not going to make a balcony so first we're adding another trim there we're gonna add the wood Uh, it's always these corners. Okay, let's add some structural stuff. And again, like you could also add um, windows here. Uh, there's a bunch of things you could add here, but I decided to add nothing. Because I'm just going to do a bunch of detailing. 
and a couple of banners. So let's do this. Underneath. And add some wood. Yeah, no. No, let's do two. Add a couple of banners. And trying to put it in the middle. Yeah, sort of in the middle. Yep. And then on this side, like I'm gonna do what I did in the front. Place one of these about here uh, uh, ah, that's not good that's not good enough so let's, that's better so like that and then add these like wooden knobs or whatever you want to call them and then the last thing is always a little bit of extra super extra detailing um wait yeah let's make i, sn I connected these bottom i've connected this bottom one to this one so it's now a little bit deeper inside the wall instead of on top of it and then I can also do nah. is that nah. so what I want to do I'm gonna place a smaller beam inside the bigger beam to create an extra snap point and then I can snap this yeah that's what I want and then let's see now this one is not centered at all uh, center yeah that's better okay and then the last thing is like so yeah so the back's a little bit a little bit simple but I do like it. You know what? I'm gonna add what I did to the sides. Oh, I'm gonna add. I actually like this. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna add that right here. Like so. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. We're gonna add that to the front also. Maybe if I do this first. No, that's not that easy. Okay, so that is the main building pretty much done and the roof done and the tower done and now the last thing is i'm going to do this little um uh, not, not a fireplace uh, uh, chimney i'm gonna keep it pretty much as it is i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna first show you what kind of chimney it is so the fire i'm gonna fly in so you guys can see the fire is underneath this stone piece a little bit and then here the smoke can go out so it's like a really thin chimney. And I'm going to use this little ledge. I'm gonna take the stairs. I'm gonna place stairs like 
that. Then I am going to, again, I've said the word a million times, make another trim, but not to the top, not to the top. So I'm going to do it like this. here and then we're gonna place it like so so that this way the top of the f of the chimney still like it, it's still like completely stone so it's dirty like shows like it, it really pops out compared to the the wood and I personally really like that so it's like really simple what I did to this chimney nothing too special this is uh, what I've made, a little upgraded small castle. These are techniques you can use on any castle and it just makes your castle look 10 million times better in my opinion. Um, anyway, thank you all you guys all for watching. This was all just about the outside, outside of a castle to upgrade the outside and uh, maybe we'll do something about the inside, I don't know yet, but at least for now, that's it. Thank you all for watching and uh, hope to see you guys next time. Bye for now. Thank you.